Hey everyone. So last Saturday at the uh, the TMS Wiki's weekly uh, drop-in chat, someone asked a question that I thought was really interesting. Um, and the question was, is it possible to work the program uh, too hard? And so the program that she's talking about is uh, the Wiki's structured educational program. It's just uh, a way of recovering from TMS. Um, you can find it at tmswiki.org. Uh, it's free and we think it's great. Um, but the question is, can you work it too hard? Uh, and the reason why I think this is an interesting question is that I think that the answer is yes, you can work it too hard. And I think that the, why does this even matter? Why does this come up? And it actually comes up a decent amount. And I think the reason that people end up working it too hard um, has to do a lot with the TMS personality, where we're all perfectionist, and, or many of us are perfectionists, I should say. Uh, and we're sometimes, well, I'm driven. I don't know if that's necessarily a widely held TMS trait, um, but we are uh, sometimes controlling, um, and we want to fix this. Um, and so we're really driven. Uh, journaling is a very important part of recovery, and we're, we're driven to get everything down and to write the perfect journal, the best journal ever, and to have the best recovery story ever, some of us. Um, and we're just trying so hard. But against that, here's, here's what I've noticed. In my story, Recovery happens when I stop trying. Let me say that again. It's when I stop caring that the pain goes away or the numbness. Um, there's a certain numbness that I've gotten before and it, it goes away when I stop caring about it. So if you're working so hard to overcome the pain by journaling all the time, that's not letting go of it, you know, like that's going to reinforce it in some sense. So, so that's where balance comes in. Journaling is important. It helps us accept the diagnosis. It helps us to think psychological and recognize the emotional causes, the true emotional causes for what's going on. But the bottom line is that if you've been around for a couple decades, as many of us have, what's going on in our unconscious is already pretty entrenched. I mean, it would be nice if we could, it's just, it's going to be a process for us is the bottom line. Um, I have been amazed at the progress that I've seen some people go through uh, and, and make uh, it and it's it's just been stunning to it's it's just been a gift to, to watch people make the progress that they've made. But I know from my own experience, and I've been journaling on and off at various times for like twenty two years. Um, I know that I'm still learning things, and I know that they're going to still learn things. That that journaling isn't a isn't 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 a destination which is easy, easily achieved. Um, it's a process. It's something that you do throughout your life and you keep learning about yourself. And, and that's the way that it works. So it's, it's, it's not something that you can just be like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna work hard for six months. I mean, I think everybody in the world should learn how to journal and they should, they should benefit from this. And I, I feel like with TMS, to some degree, TMS is a message from our unconscious via our body saying, hey, something's wrong here. Like there's something deep underneath that you're not getting and that you need to get. So, so pay attention now. So in, in that sense, everybody should journal and I'm very pro journaling, but at the same time, again, I wanna emphasize this. It's when I stop caring that my symptoms go away. Now that's just my, me personally and everybody is different. So everybody has different results. But I think it's important to recognize that a lot of TMS happens in the present and it has to do with uh, our emotional state. So currently in the structured program, that idea isn't there very strongly. And so I think that we have a lot of people who are, like I said, their, their, their lives are being changed by all the wonderful journaling that they're doing. 
and that's great and that's important, but I think that what needs to be added to help them heal, at least for some of them, and again, everybody's different, uh, is the notion of um, balance, um, of paying attention to where they're at. There, there's some voice inside them which is saying where they're at, how activated they are, of listening to that voice, um, and being mindful of that voice so that they can become less activated. And I think that's that's an important word, that word activation. You want to watch how activated am I at this moment. And what you want to do is you want to unwind. Because sometimes, very often, when I, when I listen to or read stuff that's been written by uh, people with TMS or PPD, as I prefer to call it, um, you get the image, or I get the image, of like a tightly coiled spring. Like these people are so activated. They're like... They're so motivated and, and, and you can tell them to relax and, and relaxing and not caring might be what they're just going to do. But I know that people are going to watch this video and they're going to be like, okay, I'm going to start not caring right now. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to not care harder and better than anyone has ever not cared before. And then my pain is going to go away. And obviously that's not going to work because it's just making you care more. So I feel like TMS for everyone, especially the people with a slow recovery, it's a journey. It's a learning process. Um, and, and part of that is going to be how do, you, how do you overcome that? How do you learn to deactivate, to not let, to not become so preoccupied with overcoming your pain that that preoccupation becomes the new distraction for you that feeds your TMS, that keeps the cycle going. So, I mean, one source for that, if you want to look at it, I'll link to it below, uh, is Adam Gordon's essay. I love this essay um, called Breaking the Pain Cycle. Another one, I hope that people in the comments tell me what you do to keep everything in perspective. Tell me how you um, figure out your balance, how you figure out when you're more activated and less activated. Does this word activation, um, does it, uh, re does it resonate with you? So anyway, I, I'm, I'm trying to communicate this idea that the TMS, a lot of TMS happens in the present and you want to focus on this. You want to find that balance. Uh, one thing, uh, one, one body of ideas, which I think is helpful here is, is the idea of mindfulness, what we can learn from mindfulness, uh, you know, is, is ancient ideas, powerful ideas uh, of, of allowing, not pushing, not forcing, but allowing, uh, allowing us to relax and be in the present um, rather than uh, fighting and, and always writing that journal. Um, you need to have journal writing be part of your life and, and uh, something which allows you to decompress, allows you to process things, and sometimes may bring you to tears. Sometimes you're going to go deep into the past or sometimes you're going to go deep into whatever else is going on, all of these issues. And that's important. That's good. But you need to find... But, 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 but the important thing is, is finding that right balance. And that's... I mean, one of the great things about TMS that I found on the forums is that there are so many intellectuals here. There are so many really creative people who are synthesizing all these ideas and, you know, coming up with what works for them. And that's important because there are so many different things that work for different people. And that's, I think, I think that's your mission. If you're struggling is, is what does work for you and, and write about it. Tell us what it works. Um, and if you've already recovered, tell us what works for you, please, in the comments because uh, people want to hear it. They need your, they need your wisdom. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's it. Uh, as, as I think about, you know, what should be the final step in the structured program, it's this idea of listening to yourself. Deep inside, there's this voice, which is saying, okay, this is what I need now. And the idea of listening to that voice and and I hate to say it, not listening that hard. Because uh, if you listen that hard, you're activated, you're not in the present, you're not actually experiencing your life. 
somehow letting go a little bit, listening to the voice when you need to, and just being. I don't know. I hope that helps. Um, so is it possible to work the program too hard? I think so, definitely yes. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, but that's my take. Uh, and I hope this helps. Um, and I'll see you in a week or two.